Yes, yes, yes. It's pretty incredible. Yeah. Oh, wow! There you go. Oh, no. Now that's a stadium. Wow. Not better. Hollywood A-lister Ryan Reynolds could be about to take on his next big role. Fellow A-lister Rob McElhenney is bidding with Reynolds. They could be about to launch a, a takeover at Wrexham Football Club. <laughs> My mind was racing when I learned about the English system. The idea that you can get promoted into a league above you and demoted and kicked out of the league is incredible. So the farther up the pyramid you are, the better the talent, the bigger the prize is, and thus the more profitable your club becomes. Teams can move between tiers via promotion and relegation. At the end of the season, the best teams go up and the worst teams go down. I have TV money, but as I started to look at how expensive it actually was to run a club, I realized that I needed something more than TV money. I needed movie star money. Hey, you look great. See, all you two do is tell each other you look great. Yeah, I know, it's just constantly. Well, so why is such a we're, successful we're, friendship? He seems insecure. <laughs> I don't really know Ryan that well. I've never met him in person before this. We met through social media and then just became friends. We can speak to that. I don't know that we necessarily need to speak so much to, you have to trust us, because then it yeah. feels a little Harold Hill to me. Yeah, great. Right? I feel like, yeah. Great, all right, awesome. All right, all right. I will, uh, <laughs> I will, uh, I'll see you soon, bye. Ah, he got the last word in. Fuck, I got it. Similar colors, right? See, this is why it was just meant to be. Evor Williams Trailers has been Britain's leading trailer manufacturer for over 60 years. Nothing says I'm thinking about you and your horse like Evor Williams Trailer. You may have never heard of Wrexham, the race course ground, or Evor Williams, but you will. So to the Wrexham Supporters Trust, thank you for your faith and trust in us. Oh, shit. It feels like you're standing in front of all the coolest bad boys at school. And if, like me, you spent much of your school time pretending to be a dinosaur. Just one, yeah, hi, hi everybody. Um, my name's Humphrey Carr. I am going to be working with you guys. Basically, my role is I'm going to be Rob and Ryan's kind of representative. I've worked for Rob for a couple of years now uh, as a writer on one of his TV shows. So that, I'm not going to lie to you, that is my principal qualification for becoming involved with the club. So yeah, that's me. I'll leave you in Dean's very capable hands and get out of your hair. All right, cheers everybody. Thanks, bye bye. Well, Rob and Ryan have an awful lot on their plate. It's been a summer of upheaval, with half the playing staff released. Phil Parkinson can celebrate. The lowest-ranked former Premier League club begin to make their way back up the Football League pyramid. Phil Parkinson, the championship experience, he's improved teams year on year and knows how to win games. Boy, Rob just kind of went after him like a dog with a bone. I think something about Rob that a lot of people don't know is that Rob will not get off the phone uh, until he gets what he wants. I remember he called me when I was 16, and when I got off the phone, I was in my mid-40s and owned a Welsh football club. That's mini green, you gotta, gotta go! The atmosphere is just, has been electric inside the ground, and I think just the positivity of, um, and the vibrancy what Rob and Ryan have brought to the area, you can feel it. I don't use social media as well as my partner does, but I will say that <laughs> as I'm navigating through Twitter, um, a lot of the people are asking us to sign a man named Paul Mullen. Yeah, he finished last season with 34 goals in all competition at Cambridge United, one promotion in the league. Wait, he finished with 34 goals? In all, yeah, in all competitions, yeah, 34. 
What the fuck? Wow. There's no doubt who the headline signing is. Everyone's paying attention to Wrexham now, because Paul Mullins here. But thanks to new manager Phil Parkinson, Wrexham fans will be seeing a lot of fresh faces out on the pitch today. Come on, French feeds it inside, a wicked cross, and it's in! Yes! Wonderful bowling! And bowling has headed it home! Hello, Mr. Co-Chairman. Hi, Ryan. Some game, huh? And real sick of these draws. Yeah. Yeah, it's hard to get. Um, it's hard to get excited about a draw. It'd be nice to see him win, though. <laughs> yeah. Yep. This is kind of feeling like the draw of phone calls. Hanging up now. See you Tuesday. Love you. Welcome to Wrexham, or more specifically. Wales. You might be a little confused right now, not just by Rob's decision to look like a stand-in in a Guy Ritchie movie, but because the last few episodes, you've been watching a documentary about an underdog football team from Wales and two Hollywood movie stars. Uh, I'm more of a TV star. Oh. We're still here, despite everybody and everything, we're still here. And all of these historical developments led to the most important event in the history of Wales, which was, of course, when the fifth-tier football club in Wrexham was purchased by Ryan Reynolds and his friend, who works out all the time but still isn't as hot as Ryan Reynolds. I want something for my hands. You know, I believe Wales may be older than It's Always Sunny in Philadelphia, Rob. Oh, or your self-aware winking to the camera, right? Good God, I love self-aware winking to the camera. Today, we're joined by the co-chairman of the North Walian Football Club, the Wrexham Red Dragons, Hollywood stars, Ryan Reynolds and Rob McElhenney. <laughs> How come I have to wear the apron you're not wearing? Because you do it, you're f***ing told, that's why. The fruit that you got, the currants, the raisins. Yep. All right, we're going to put the men in, the butter and the lard in next. So I'm going to use my fork, fork. 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 That's Fork? a the Disney show. Can we'll you bleep it out? Rob, there's an R. That's a Disney there's an show. R in it. Fork. Fork. R. Get R. the fork okay. in there. Okay. All right. What happened to yours? What? How do you say the butter is He's not soft off. in Welsh? So the men in them and dig on metal. Dig a mega nag a mega nag a Great. So we're going to need to roll this out now. This is Sports Center. Tonight on Sports Center, can the Wrexham Red Dragons shake off their losing streak? We look at a few pictures when Ryan and I played sports and make smart remarks about them. And we count down the top plays of the year so far. Since our takeover and infusion of talent, the Red Dragons have quite frankly struggled. Yeah, we sit in seventh place losing to teams that we should be winning against. This isn't really going exactly the way we... No, we're financially bleeding to death. Yeah. Uh, from self-inflicted stupidity and an unsound business plan. Yeah. God, we look great. Got this one in the bag, right, Rob? Wrong! Because we f***ing lose this one, Ryan. Yeah, the guy goes to the corner, he throws it. Oh, this f guy hits guy. it in with oh. his head. They score. F that guy. And then with 10 minutes left to go, this f***ing guy comes up the left side. He kicks over oh, this guy this on the, the right. Worst. He shoots, oh, he caroms off kidding. like five of our guys. And they f***ing kick it in. Oh, it and so then bad. the game's over because they win. Cool. Yep. We just keep on losing. So f***ing good at losing. God, we're the best. Okay, Rob's the little one, in case you didn't know. Okay, can we just address this right now? I am not small. It's just that you're abnormally large, and I'm constantly standing next to you in this show. And here is you playing goalie in what looks like the worst soccer field I have ever seen. It wasn't so bad. It was 80% gravel and 20% broken glass, which made you appreciate the gravel. Who's taking that picture, Ryan? My dad, actually. If you zoom in, you could see me looking for his approval. Uh, still looking for it. Okay, that one is so sad, I'm just gonna let it go. What do you think about I'm coming then? Exciting, isn't it, really? Mm. Do you think they're gonna follow you on Instagram? I get a follow off Ryan Reynolds, I will. <laughs> if you can ask him any question, what question will you ask? To give me a shout out on Instagram. No, but like a proper question. Can I have a grand? <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure a grand in their pocket's not much, is it? Well, she got it, isn't it? That's what I mean. Yeah. Can I have a grand? Yeah, what's your bank account? Go on. Physio. Is that the gym? 
it will be the gym. This needs some attention. Boy, but yes, we, we plans are afoot to Does improve it ever. this. Well, we haven't got this far yet, but... Uh... Oh, what's the best is the match of the pain? Bring on the dead boo! I roll back to Lenny! <laughs> Good job, guys. That was amazing! <laughs> The best, lads. Cheers. Nice, right? That's your bread and butter, huh? Yeah, that is. On your cereal. That helped us uh, do what we're doing here. Oh, no, thanks very much for that. You're doing shots, and, and they just come across as real nice blokes. I'm going off topic a little bit. You might not like this. Did you find Spencer as a little bit of a weasel? I did not. No. I found him to be really you, had a lot did. of integrity. So well, Sean, I have a question. When you wake up, are you in a full sprint? <laughs> or are you still lying in bed? <laughs> this is a, is a, is a birthday. Noel. Okay, happy yeah, birthday, Noel. Uh, okay, we're going to sing you happy birthday no, right I'm now at the top of our lungs, <laughs> right here. Ready? Three, two, one. Happy. <laughs> I have never been more embarrassed in my life. Yeah, stretch out, geezer. These are Mullen shoes. I know. They're not going to help you. Oh, yeah, it's back in shape. Well, look at Ryan. Go, you lost your chance. Let's go. Okay. Come on, Rob. Oh! Do I even want to? <laughs> Thank you for giving me that. Oh, you're going to dine on that for the rest of your life. I'm never going to forget that. You remember in Braveheart when they introduced that character about halfway through and it completely changes the trajectory of the movie? Yeah, that's the guy I'm talking about, the Irish guy. Remember that? Well, we have our own version of that, and his name, Ollie Palmer. He's English, by the way. He's not Irish. It's a rebound. Yeah! 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 Take the lead on his baby. Ollie Palmer puts Rex in my hands. Palmer's been fantastic for us. I think he gave Paul Mullen a huge lift bringing him in. I don't really normally do much, you know, on a, like, 48 hours after that. It's not a lot, is it? Look at him, he's turned up, mate. He's trying to call the shots, mate. What's going on, lads? Just tell him to do as he's told, lads. It's a stretch on the first day. We'll give him a way to settle in, won't we, Muzz? It'll be all right, lads. You know, you know, I'm telling no more. The gym's not on the doorstep. Hey, you two just don't worry, well. You just do keep scoring and we'll be all right, yeah? Can I have ketchup, please? Yes, please. Catch up with avocado, both I didn't pick avocado, lad. <laughs> just got salt, that's all. That was one to post eggs on salt, lad. Enjoy. Thank you. Look at you trying to eat all neatly because the camera's here. You never like that, mate. Scouser. I've often just seen you. You normally use your fingers, lads. mate. It's another corner. Young under the bar, the side flicked on! <laughs> Uh, yeah, I'm filming an audition for a new television program um, called Obi Wan Kenobi. From, it's a Star Wars thing, so it's pretty cool. What was the direction they gave you for this show? The direction they gave me was look like you are walking in some solemn military ceremony type thing. I mean, it looks stupid now, but imagine it in a Star War. Be unbelievably cool. I don't know if you picked up on this, but just a few moments ago in the episode, Kevin, our head physio, referred to Ryan's visit as a fucking disgrace. It's just a fucking disgrace. We got a game on fucking Zara. Kevin, I agree with you. I think it's a fucking disgrace because. He went without me. He went to Wales without me. And he seems to be having the time of his life. I, I don't know. I thought it was important to maybe get a better understanding of, of the country and the people. But apparently they don't seem to mind because everywhere he goes, everybody just loves him. Everybody. Look at all the smiles and the, and the hugs. Look, look at the 
way Mullen's looking at him. What a big surprise. And now I'm doing a commercial for him. I'm in a commercial for Mint Mobile, and I'm not affiliated with this company at all. They're not paying me to do this. I don't own a piece of the, of the company. But Ryan assured me that it's actually good for me because it's great exposure. And the most f***ed up thing is that he's right. <laughs> Oh, my God. He didn't even want to do this. This whole thing was my idea. You should have bought a football team in New York. Even when he did, he was like, eh, I'm not really sure if I'm like, in that into it. Insane decision I made a year and a half ago. Just totally fucking insane. Now he's like going without me. He's going without me. He kicks the goal! Oh, oh my what God! What the goal? What the goal? What's all going? Max is first in it! Max is going to keep going! Oh, look, he's everybody's best friend now. Kissing babies, hey, hugging everybody, why not? Oh, now he's hugging Ollie. Ollie's not wearing a shirt, that's cool. And he's just, yeah, hug, hug him, hug, hug, hug everybody. Here they go, mighty champions. Raise your voices to the anthem. Yeah, see you at Wembley. Yeah. Oh, God, I can't wait. Oh, it's going to be amazing. Up the town. Can you tell me my name is uh, Chet Peterson, and I'm uh, here with uh, Toyota, uh, and we've uh, we're in the Toyota suite. Wembley Stadium, the home of football. It holds magical memories for those that have done it, and is that dream for many, many others. And tomorrow, the players of Wrexham AFC will get that opportunity. Phil has brought this club a long way. We beat the best to be here, you know, like this is, this is how it's supposed to be. It's a good time to be a Wrexham fan. Not only is the team still the favourite to win promotion via the playoffs, but today we have the opportunity to lift the FA Trophy for the second time in our history. I look. I have to focus on the buffet. Wow! All right, it's Will Will's looking smart today. He usually wears some sort of like fucker of a yeah. jersey or something. He usually shows up in, in something funny. <laughs> I was shocked. My one prediction: there'll be 20 red cards. What are you like seeing? Like, what are you seeing? Right even at the moment. Yeah. Both teams have a pretty good chance. Yeah, absolutely. It's 1 0. Fucking hell, I did. Drumley take the lead. Drumley are beating Wrexham. There we go. Got to keep the focus, Drumley. Another dangerous delivery from Toza. Yeah. Oh, magnificent save by Balkan right at the end. Did you explode your pants? Can Bromley hold out here under heavy pressure? Balkan with the save. If you're a Wrexham fan, Dan, you'd be so frustrated. I tell you what, it's a close call. It's all over, and Bromley have done it. This game doesn't matter. Sort of felt like it mattered. Well, it really did. It really, really did. In football, it can just be one mistake that is the difference between winning and losing. And so I think the way that people th think of it is differently. We didn't necessarily lose, we just had a bad result. So when this whole thing started, I said to Caitlin, what do you think about me seeing if Ryan would want to do this with me, like 50-50? And she said, do you think your ego could handle sharing a screen with Ryan Reynolds? 
Ryan, I hear your friendship actually started when Rob slid into your DMs. You want to spill the tea no, on that one a little I, bit? No, I, I slid into his DMs. Oh, you slid into his DMs. Oh my God, yeah. I mean, I, how are you quickly, kidding me? How quickly the story so changed. I know. I slid into his DMs and I wrote, powder my bottom and put me to bed. This is not oh. actually a bar. Look at this. Yeah. Oh, wow. Yeah. He DM'd me back. And then we kind of became, you know, digital friends, yeah. which later turned into real life human friends. What's that going to be like when you guys meet for the first time? <laughs> like no. dating? I'm definitely going to swoon. So you got to, you got to stay wide for that shot. Because if you see my eyes, it's, I'm going to be like floating. <laughs> He's probably going to pick me up like a child. The rookie. Okay. Dennis Quaid. Oh, 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 look. Like a 40 year old pitcher what, in the major. Can we just address the, can we address the mustache in the room? I've been waiting for the right peaceful moment to ask you, do you harbor any anger and or resentment towards me for asking you to do this? My wife wants to kill you. Yeah. This is what men do. It's yeah. men stuff. Yeah. Traditionally, men have liked to get together with groups of other men and do stuff. Um, whether that be go to football matches, play football, rove in gangs, beat the living shit out of each other, compete with one another. Absolutely. Like a heel, right? You have a heel too! Yeah, I totally, I, I, and I this wore is three, great. Inch, three inch lifts just to really hammer home. They, George said to establish dominance. We're back here with Ryan Reynolds and the other guy. I think we both have enormous respect for each other, which is what, you know, I think is the backbone to any healthy relationship. And that's why Rob is a fuckface clown. He's just, oh, oh Jesus, Chairman. Rob. Oh, hi, Mr. Chairman. How are you? How are you? Oh, hi, hi I'll, you guys are in the middle of your thing. God, you're handsome. Um, you got, right. Did you get that? Six teams play in the playoffs. The major benefit of finishing second or third is that you only have to play one game before getting to the final, and you are at home in that game, which is why we will host Grimsby here at the race course. The winner will go through to the final. Wrexham finished the regular season 11 points ahead of Grimsby, second and sixth, respectively. Big game today for us, biggest for a long, long time. Now it's all about who delivers on the day. Stakes could not be higher, feeling very nervous. Today, right, I'll tell you what today's about. Taking the fucking handbrake off, right, and going full throttle for the bastard throat of this fucking team. Nothing gets left on the pitch. We fucking give everything to put these to the bastard sword. Let's fucking go. It's Mullen for Wrexham. It's a goal against the run of play. The Wrexham won't care. They're in front of the race course. He's had that early goal disallowed. Fox have made the run beyond him. McAtee! Oh, that's special! What a way to respond! Came out to Clifton and now Amos will send it into a busy box. Good delivery! And they're in front! It's the captain waterfall against his former club! Sweeps it under the bar. Which threat in that side is the second here! And they've equalised! Toza! Run and jump, you see the yard, he's got it. And then he's got the advantage to get his arm on his shoulder and head over it. Slings it. In the blink of an eye, from two on down to three, two up. It's there. McAtee. Taylor's on the edge of the box. McAtee looked to find him. They've done it again. They just never know when they're beaten. Can Waterfall find a yard in the box to get away from Toza? In it goes for McAtee. He's done it again. I can't believe this. Dear Sarue. Can they do it again, Wrexham, in their biggest game of the season? 4-3 down at the race course. They've equalised again. It's one of the local lads. Davis. The fact that this is happening in the biggest game of the season, 
full time then, Wrexham for Grimsby for extra time to come. This has been brilliant, chaos in the playoffs. Our number one goal of the season was to bring belief back into this town and into this club. And you could hear it, 10,000 people out there every single game. Standing ovation as you guys walked off. Well, this is how we started, walking on the field. <sighs> we're going to get this team back here next year and we're going to achieve promotion, I promise. This town, deserves it. Don't forget to sing when you win. So uh, for anyone who needs a quick reminder, of course, uh, Wrexham are in, currently in the National League. That's the fifth tier of English football. Now we call that non-league football. Uh, everything from the fifth tier down uh, is organised football, but it's non-league. Everything above, that's league football. So that's League Two, which is the fourth tier, League One, which is the third tier, the Championship second tier, and the Premier League, which is the top tier. Come on, you Reds! We're heavily invested in building this club, the stadium itself. And if we don't get promoted this year, the club is completely, uh, totally, and wholly unsustainable. Is this the first time you've actually been trained in etiquette? This is the, well, I did read, breezy read, but I okay. read Tiffany's Table Manners for Teens when I was young. <laughs> okay. Uh, yeah. It's a problem, Ryan. Very excited about the king coming. Giddy, you might say and um you know i think they recognize you know the significance of having the monarch visiting wrexham two years a lot of work has gone into lining up all the pieces of the puzzle to try and get this funding and that will give us an extra five and a half thousand seats it will also give us a stadium that is uh, deemed to be of international standards so we can bring welsh football back to the race course are you ready i think so okay just casually walking yeah there we go mm. okay turn oh. around you it's know nice where the chair, chair is good <laughs> Good control. I feel like the thigh muscles were working. Right? I feel like a serial killer. <laughs> yeah. So yeah. That's so good. That's great. Mm -hmm. Okay. Nice thigh muscles. <clears throat> okay, beautiful. Okay, lovely. <laughs> <laughs> and now you may. I, I don't stand, I rise. <laughs> exactly. How you feel? What a, now, yeah, I, I think I am going to have a hard time with this. Okay. Well, yeah, yeah. I'm I not, can see I'm not the fucking... structure is, her, is bothering you. It, it, it's not the structure, it's the idea of bowing to somebody. It triggers something. I want you to Hi. I want you to I want oh, you to feel hello. that rage. Welcome. When we're, when well, we're, hey. No, when that's we're okay. working. Hello. Well, How are you? Lovely. Uh. So I've just had uh, a message from, well, regrettably, a, a media outlet that's uh, heard the news that the levelling up fund bid application from the council has been unsuccessful. So the levelling up fund bid has not been accepted. I don't have £20 million pounds lying around. I don't, I don't know if Ryan does, but I don't think so. He might say he does, but I would, I would talk to Blake, because I bet you he fucking doesn't. After some initial struggles to start the season, we have really settled in and been playing some fabulous football. We have excelled this season by any normal metric. And he scores! Who else but Paul Mullin? Just listen to that noise. They've done it again. As Phil Parkinson's side go top of the league. Is that a fair assessment? Fair, it's fair, but it's, everything's teamwork, as we know. Yes.
Um, you know, I'm not a huge fan of the good cop, bad cop analogy that sometimes gets thrown around. I think it's closer to really Sean is like the hand of the king from Game of Thrones. You know, he's the, the secret power behind the throne. In what was quite a Game of Thronesy development, the day Sean left for his holiday, Rob got in touch with me and announced he was arriving without having told Ryan or Sean for some strategic reason or something I had yet to ascertain. Rob revealed that he had come to the race course to help stage a, a humorous prank for the benefit of Ryan's birthday, which was coming up in a few days' time, uh, that involved a blimp that was going to fly over the race course with a very unflattering picture of Ryan on it. A hideous but surprisingly inexpensive way for the world to finally see Ryan Reynolds as he's meant to be seen. Um, now, all of these glorious ideas had been uh, formulated and plotted out and planned and put into practice without consulting me, without working out whether or not we were allowed to do this, what the local Welsh aviation laws are involved in regards to blimp flying. Big challenge this weekend versus Boring Woods, who fancy themselves as challengers for the league. We need to get some momentum going today, don't we? We certainly do, and again, this is going to be a really tough task here for the for Wrexham. Hi. Which brings us to the thorny issue of Article 48. Article 48 is the law that states that you can't broadcast 3 p.m. Saturday kickoffs in the UK. This was to protect the live crowd scene. That's right. And for all the European fans watching out there, I'm sure I sound like a typical American asshole. But don't you want to watch the games? I mean, come on. You want to watch the games, right? Rob got very excited at the prospect of streaming this game in the turf. And Wrexham being a small town, word got around. And before you knew it, uh, everybody in the town knew. I wonder when Mendy's coming back. So actually, what Rob wanted to do was akin to sticking two fingers up at the authorities and something that I couldn't allow to happen. Ooh, ooh, I gotta jump in again. That's not what I was trying to do. I, I don't even know what that means. What does this mean? Sean called me and said, you cannot do this. And I said, I don't know. I don't think it'll get out. I don't, is it really that big of a deal? And he said, it is a very big deal. And so now I'm actually scared because Sean is scary. I mean, look at him. Anyway, uh, cooler heads prevailed, and Rob and the turf end up listening to the match, which I was delighted about. And that is the final whistle. Wow. Wrexham, I think it's well grounds to feel really disappointed that you can worry the three points. So to recap, Sean has been gone for two days, and so far there's been a healthy dose of lies and subterfuge from at least one of our owners, and very nearly violations of both Welsh aviation law and international blackout regulations, and worst of all, two phone calls to Sean on his sacrosanct holiday. That's when I decided to channel my inner Varys. I knew if I was going to prevail upon Sean not to return to Rex, and there was no point in contacting him directly, or even to go to the king. You know, if you want something from the king, you start with the queen. I told him what a shame it would be if Sean was to spoil his holiday, and, you know, he being ever the superhero, got in touch with Rob, who called Sean and demanded he stayed in Tenerife. I thought I'd install three days. Gets the cross in. Oh, it's a small ball! Oh, what a goal! Here's Davis! Davis! Yorke. Good cross, Hayden! So now Rob thinks he's prescient or magic or something. I don't know. I mean, I guess Game of Thrones had magic in it. You know, he's, he's Bran, the little boy on the back of Hodor. He, he can see into the future, apparently. The other co-chairman got to convince himself that he'd saved Sean's holiday, so that was nice for him. And, you know, ultimately, Sean did have his holiday saved, and so that was also a nice thing. And was I responsible for all those things? I mean, <laughs> that's not for me to say. The last 365 days, the teams that I have supported have come in second place in the National League, Wrexham. Grimsby! In the FA Trophy, Wrexham, men. It's worthy of a Hollywood script, all right. In sports, there's just so much that's out of anyone's control. I mean, you can do 
you can do everything right and still never manage to achieve what you're trying to achieve. And I think, I think that can kind of get to your head. So the FA Cup is the kind of premier cup competition in the UK. So we play in the league. That's our bread and butter. That's the one we want to win and get promoted. But you also take part in the FA Cup. Now, this happens concurrently with the league. All sorts of people enter. They get whittled down until there's only one team left. In terms of our pressing when the keeper's got it, if it goes out for a goal kick, Reese, and you're going to push on to the left side centre back and we're going to go and fucking press them. There is plenty in Sky Blue streaming forward through the centre. 4 3. I'm like, oh my god, hold on. In the cross, so they can't get it clear and they're on the line. Mark Howard gratefully gathers it at the end of it. As Kane in support back to one pass. The feed goes out. The fucking feed goes out. I can't remember feeling a writhing, all-consuming agony like I did in that exact moment. It was harrowing. Yeah. Jones puts it out of play, and that's it! Yeah! Yeah! Come on, Rick! Coventry says he's 61 places above them! It's almost what, what dreams are made of, isn't it? Okay, so remember the financial disparity between us and Coventry City, uh, how they were double our wages? Uh, well, Sheffield United have eight times our wages, so this is going to be fucking hard. It's about, it's about to start. There's Ryan. Woo! <laughs> he looks nervous. It looks amazing. Throws it in the near post. O'Connor helps it on and the go back. Oh, Flicks on. Yeah! 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 Come on! Sweeps it under the bar. It's him! Sheffield United equalised deep into added time and it's got to be said Wrexham did not deal with that well. Now, the big difference is if you uh, draw your game, you then go and replay the game at the home ground of the away team. So drawing Sheffield United at the race course means we have to go back to their stadium, Bramall Lane, and play them there. Of all the games to miss, McElhenney! Of all the games! Did you see the guys? Were they just fucking uh, devastated? Yeah, I, mean, yeah, they, I, they I spoke, spoke to the guys. Incredible fight. Oh my god, I was a blubbering mess. It was incredible. <laughs> Ugh, the best. Uh, Last 15 minutes, the, the tank was empty. Absolutely empty. We clung on, and then sadly got caught out in injury time. And Sheffield United take the lead. It was the most honourable 3 1 defeat I think you could imagine. For a rousing reception from their fans. Billy Sharp giving that our fans, but it's great. Yeah, we made him mad too. Billy, there's no need to do that. There's no need to do that. There's no need to do that. Hey, we're four divisions below her. There's no need to do it. There's no need to do it. We've said all along that the FA Cup is a bonus for us, um, and we've enjoyed that. But now it's uh, league football is, is our bread and butter. Now the fucking game is fucking on in the league, and it most game fucking on. We had a pretty damn great run in the FA Cup, but um, we had to postpone league matches every time that we advanced in the cup. This month is, is where that cup success really, really bites us in the ass. There he is. How are you? Nice to meet you. How are you? Yeah, Pleasure. <laughs> yeah, that was yeah, another kind of um, 
surreal day, really. Will Ferrell came in my office and we had a chat. Do you guys like Ryan and Rob or not really? You can be honest. Rob is good, Ryan. Dodgy Canadian, yeah. And that is the final action at the race course round. This is the hardest step to get out of the National League. This is the steepest hill to climb. Yeah, you can just feel now there's stakes here. There's been bottlenecks this season where the, we've been playing two games a week. Well, the game yes. next Tuesday as yeah. well. Yeah. These chess fields, so. Oh, oh. He's fouled. Ref doesn't get it. Well, it looked like a poor challenge. We've been dealing with illnesses and injuries and, and really reacting and adapting to that. Mullen finds him. Lee hits him! Shot away and it's in again. And there is no stopping Sam Dolby at the moment. Victory at the race course ground for Wrexham. That win means that Wrexham go top off the Valorama National League. Every once in a while, uh, over the course of a season or a career, there are those people out there that get that extra little bit of magic. The Kobe Bryants of the world, the Michael Jordans of the world. Um, the Tom Brady's of the world. Ben Foster. He is that player. Morning, all. Morning, morning. You right? You right? Morning, morning. Morning, morning, morning. I really enjoyed retirement. I started playing an awful lot of golf. Really, really enjoying doing all the things that I've never been able to do for the last 20 years of my life. And then Wrexham came knocking. All five leagues, no one has ever earned 107 points. I mean, Notts County can go up with 109 points. Would you look at who's up next? It's all been leading up to this. With the season nearing the final hurdle, it's the big one. I suppose from quite early on, uh, I think everyone could see that Notts County were going to be serious challenges to Wrexham this year. So the season is winding down and all eyes are turning to Wrexham versus Notts County at the race course. This is a titanic clash. Whoever wins this game is likely to end up top of the tree, and that's where we want to be, because coming into the season, we want to be champions rather than going through the whole rigmarole of the playoffs, which, as we know, doesn't always turn out the way you want it to. Let's talk about how much money we're losing. Let's talk about how much money we're losing. Ultimately, the last financial year, there was a £4.8 million pound cash introduction. That sits on top of the two million, obviously, when you bought when you bought the clubs. And obviously you've continued to fund the club going since then, you know, to what will be the tune of another four million pounds this season. You know, so, you know, it's the big ten. Yeah. I'm gonna go throw up. If you were to sell the club today, you know, you would get far more than the ten million pounds you ever paid. So yeah. I think that's the actual realistic metric. Mm -hmm. Let's just say we're in it for the rest of our lives. At what, point do, at what point do I get paid? Well, well it's, it's, well, it's, the, it's the memories. I it's the, the memories of <laughs> what you get paid. The memories. Yeah. The biggest thing that's going to change on promotion is not actually we're going to play in League Two, which does bring more money, gets mm -hmm. us into the mainstream, but actually also people can see the value of Welcome to Wrexham. They can see the value of the profile that's being built, and that's when the additional sponsorship revenue can be generated on the back of that, mm -hmm. which will give us what everybody else in the EFL will moan like buggery about next yeah. year, an unfair advantage. The first time in any of the top five divisions that two teams have reached 100 points in the same season. County lead the way on goal difference, which of course makes today's meeting even more crucial to the outcome of this National League season. Ball over. Calvin! Let's count him. Leveled it. Cap 
Martins goal from Cameron. All square now at the race course. And this is some game. Oh, Pablo now in space at the right. He's got players attacking the far post. Oh, it's coming to Mullen. Oh, it's blocked by Mullen. Swears it. Lou. He's giving it a bounce, is he? He's giving it a bounce, is he? Oh. 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 Incredible. What? He's, he's given it. It seems to hit a hand, yeah. He's giving it a bounce, he's not counting. He was right to give it. That's a good and call. So now it all comes down to this. One of the greatest moments of my entire life. I have been characterizing it the exact same way. Um, so hopefully, aside from my family, which I'm required to say, mm -hmm. uh, that was the greatest moment of my entire life. This win puts us firmly in pole position to go on and win the league outright and avoid the nightmare scenario of going into the playoffs. But of course, we still have to go and finish the job now. This is Wrexham. Nothing ever comes easily. Oh, and today my best friends are in town for the match. It would be nice to show him a win. You ready, buddy? Let's go, boss. All right. Show us around. Welcome show us your boss. football team, boss. <laughs> Play a little welcome music for us. Oh, is that for us? Appreciate them. <laughs> I need to some school. Carly, you're not oh, playing. Oh, I'm playing? By the way, the player, not playing? playing in it. That's no. some of the players. The players aren't even warmed up. Yeah, for sure. Why are footballers always so handsome? Very, very handsome. They're in good so shape. So handsome. handsome. Should we go distract? Right. Should we go distract the other team? <laughs> They're all, I can see them all over there Struck looking over here trying to figure out which What's one out? of us is Ryan. <laughs> <laughs> You guys have been doing a lot of this talking on TV, but I just want to take a second to say how amazing this was from an outside standpoint to come in here, see what you've done with this team, and for this town, I wept openly. I never he fucking cried. cried. Charlie cried. He does not cry. I'm very beautiful. proud of you guys to, to Wrexham. It was amazing. And uh, to the boys on the, on the pitch. Yes. And to the people of Wrexham. Yes. One more game. Let's go. One more game. Go. One more game. I am no, definitely not fucked that. that. No, 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 that's... Uh, <laughs> <laughs> we have two games left, which means six available points. We only need three of those to win the title and get automatically promoted. But if we don't win those games and uh, someone else wins two of theirs, then that could mean we wind up in the playoffs and we all know how badly that can fucking go. This was not in the Hollywood script. Boreham Wood will not be an easy game. They're the best defensive team in the league and have a better record playing away from home. And their goalkeeper, Nathan Ashmore, is arguably the best goalkeeper in the league and already has 15 clean sheets this season. The Scotsman for the match ball to make it 5 2. It. And that should finally seal those three points. It has to end. This has just been going on for so long. I know, long. and our we're nervous system. 107 yeah. points, it should have been over yeah. months ago. <laughs> and work to the basics that have brought you so much success this season. It's another game for them. They have been formidable at home this year. Yes. Up towards yes. Love, yes. and it loves in! And he scores! What an incredible start! Inside a minute, Bora Wood takes to go inside, then goes around the outside, chips to the far post. Yeah! Oh, yes! And the ref 
blows his wrist up. Half time. Ooh. One all. A draw today would leave the door open for Notts County to take the lead. This a title race that has compelled us, has kept us guessing for months. Does that end this evening at the end of this next 45 minutes, or will we get final day drama? Great turn by Mullen. Gets away from a bond owner into the box. Left hand side shoots. <laughs> Is precocious and misses it. Oh, Ireland's running at Ivan's edge of the area. On his left foot, heads it.